I'm about to give you three great tips, three tips that relate to the golf swing that are proven to help you play better golf and are tips that I have used for over 20 years. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And there's nothing more enjoyable than helping somebody hit a good quality golf shot, especially for the weekend warrior who probably maybe struggles on a regular basis. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna dive into three golf swing tips that I use all the time that I guarantee at least one of them are probably gonna help you play better golf. So let's dive right into it. So we're gonna talk one about the takeaway, one on the transition to the top, and one on the finish. So the first one is the takeaway. Now one of the tips, the golf swing tips that I like to give people on the takeaway is the relationship between the hands and the club head. All right, now there's a lot of discussion out there about the direction that you swing the club back. Do we take the club inside? Do we take the club outside? What's the overall direction that the club swings? And those things are important. But the truth of the matter is, is you're gonna see a wide variety when you look at the best players in the world. Some of them do take the club as a whole, really inside. Some of them are more outside and really everything in between. But the one thing, and this is the first tip I wanna give you that almost all great players do, is they keep the club head outside of the hands. Now let me show what I mean by that. So when the club goes back, the relationship between the hands right here, okay, and the club head, this relationship, the club head is what I like to call outside the hands. This would be outside the hands, all right? This would be inside the hands. Very, very seldom do I see a good ball striker, all right, take the club head and move it inside their hands. So the key relationship here, the tip number one that I wanna give you is when you take the club away, right here when the club shaft is about, you know, parallel to the ground, make sure that the club head is slightly on this side or what we would call outside your hands. If you do that, you're gonna start, definitely start hitting better golf shots immediately because it, it really kind of works into the transition and some other more details that we could dive into. We've done a ton of different videos on the transition and, and all those types of things. So be sure to check those out or be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we love hearing from you. We love the comments. I always do my best to, to respond to all those comments whether you agree or disagree. I always try to respond to all those. So we love some of those things. All right, now, tip number two. Tip number two is transitioning from this position which we just talked about here, all right, on tip number one to the top. Now the biggest mistake well, let me ask you this. Have you ever been told you've got a chicken wing? That's a pretty common phrase we hear a lot in the golf swing. We hear about the chicken wing, I wanna get off track here, but we hear about the chicken wing on the finish where the elbows are kind of separated and, and we see a lot of that, all right? But it's usually the byproduct of something else. Where I see it happen most often are the root of the cause is in the takeaway, all right? Is the transition. So when we're here, all right, and, they tra and you transition to the top, the elbows start to separate. And when the elbows start to separate, i.e. chicken wing, then it limits your rotation, a lot of things start to happen, and it's just not a good position to be in. So the tip, the suggestion I wanna give you is as you transition to the top, okay, you're right here, and you start transitioning up to the top, I want you to feel like your elbows actually get closer together. You almost feel like you're squeezing your elbows. So from this position here, all right, I got this good spot. As I work up, instead of the elbows separating, feel like the elbows actually squeeze together. Now, if you subscribe to our channel, you've probably seen some videos we've done on this with a ball, where we kind of put a ball between our forearms and things like that. Great video, it's one of our most popular ones. I mean, I've used that tip with tour professionals and it helps all the time. So that was tip number two. When you transition to the top, make sure that the elbows feel like they're getting a little bit closer together. Now the third tip that I wanna give you, and this is kind of my one I go to when all else fails, uh, especially if, if you struggle with rhythm and tempo or balance, this tip is for you. So the tip is simply, when you finish your golf swing, you wanna be in balance, but specifically when you finish, make sure that your knees Okay, your knees are touching. If your knees are touching when you finish, then you're gonna be in balance. And what I have found, and I, I wish I had a, actually, I wish I had a really good reason or some, some data to document it other than just observing golf swings, but when people finish with their knees touching and when they finish in balance, a lot of good things happen before that. And sometimes we can get so bogged down in, 
and you know the takeaway and the top and all of these things that just get us confused and we, we almost regress. And if we just simply focus on the finish, hey, when you finish your golf swing, make sure you're in balance, make sure your knees are touching, the club's up over your shoulder. If you do that, what you might find is all these other things just kind of self-correct or fall into place. So that would be tip number three. So let's review those three quick tips and because uh, they're definitely gonna help you play better golf. Number one, on the takeaway, make sure that the club head is slightly outside the hands. That's gonna definitely help you. Number two, when you transition to the top, feel like the elbows are getting maybe even a little bit closer together versus separating, i.e. that chicken wing, not a good spot. If you want more information on that specific tip, be sure to check out some of our other videos uh, because we did a couple in-depth ones on that. And last but not least, hey, when you finish the swing, just be in balance, have the knees touch. If you do that, that's a great tip to take to the first tee when you're playing around the golf and can definitely help you play better golf.